Awesome. All right. Uh, Raquel, biggest wins for the week. Thank you. Um, so I had a client call um, earlier this week with a client who historically has always been asking for discounts and, you know, trying to engage me. And I'm like, nope. And this is a person that came, I, I know him from GE. So I did some work at GE and then he went to Mars. I never did anything at Mars because he wanted to discount it. And now he's at another company. And so he's been trying to, you know, compare me to like other people they've hired. And I'm like, well, I'm not those other people. So go use those other people. And so I've kind of just stuck, stuck to it. And um, when I, when I set up the call, he had already sent me an email saying, well, we would like to have it at this price. And I'm like, I know you would like that, but you're not getting that. And so when I got on the phone, what was helpful is, you know, it helps me to work ahead to then work backwards. Like, so going all the way up to module five helped me to think through module two better, if that makes any sense at all. So I had started to really kind of build this kind of bigger vision of what I wanted to do and how I wanted to sell. And, and I made a list of this bonus and premium content. And so I just, first things I said was, listen, I know that you have this idea of what you're going to pay. And let me explain to you, you know, when I book synchronous time in which I block my schedule, I cannot lower the price because of the implications that it has. But I want you to get all the value that you would not get otherwise. And so I'm gonna offer you these bonuses. And so it included asynchronous videos, it included marketing templates and surveys, it included like a Q and A session, um, all of these sorts of things. And they just accepted it immediately. I didn't even have to do much more than that. They just said, okay, fine, when can we start? Can you give us dates? And so then I used the scarcity principle and I went through my calendar and I was like, Oh, another oh. client asked me to hold these dates, but because they haven't signed a contract or sent me money, I'm just going to give them to you. But you do need to sign the contract or I'll give you giving the dates to the next person that asks. So then they said, and then we want to book a cohort that starts um, every single month. And so basically it's, it's not as high as I want to sell for my offer. It was 10,500 for the month, you know, for that three, those three sessions, basically, plus the bonus, but it gets me a whole bunch and I get to test stuff. And then the video content that's bonus, I'm going to be repurposing it and using it for all of the other sales in the future. And so therefore I feel like they're sort of funding the stuff that I need to get done. I didn't have to discount. I'm super proud of it. And, and um, the other thing is, is I, I, this will be the first client that I put into the Dupesado, um that I app that I got for sending the contracting, invoicing, and then going into Asana to help me then project manage the videos and all of the content that I need to develop for this, at least this first month so that I can then repurpose. Um, so I was super excited about that. And it's just so gratifying when someone has tried to, for the last five years, get you to discount your stuff. And then they finally just say, you know what, this is, you're, you're the one we want. And so we're gonna pay it. So thank you. And it was because of this. Oh, I love that, man. You're a beast, baby. I love that. I love to hear that shit. That shit just gets me pumped. Um, but yeah, everybody round of applause for Raquel because she stood her ground, you know, and regardless, all that content's now going to be made essentially for free. <laughs> and you get to repurpose it. I love it. I love it. Um, all right.